Sometimes. Magical thing time, isn't it? What do we do with time? What do we do with time, Captain? We save lives. Detective Handy, you better join us for this. Who was murdered? I was. We don't have much time here, dude. Do you understand what's going on? Bigelow. I've been fighting my own corner every day. And I How's he doing? There's nothing wrong with Harry that a couple bottles of gin will fix. Oh, hey, I'm just warming up. Give me, give me a break here. Yeah. Frank, this is Sue and Harry. It's nice to meet you. Fashion week right now. It's the last day too, so. Most beautiful people in the world. What it is. Take a deep breath, inhale, exhale. <clears throat> hey, Harry, this is a hot brunette. Oh, she's part of the scene. She comes here to get her fix. What fix? <laughs> you know, I didn't think that you were the partying type. You know, the words translate to kiss me a lot. Kiss me, my darling, as if tonight was the only chance that you've got. Kiss me tonight, kiss me, my darling. Never take life seriously. No one gets out alive anyway. You only got one shot. One shot! Just gonna come as a shock. What are you trying to tell me? Our test results reveal the presence of a high-grade toxin in your bloodstream. What? A synthetic poison, death cap mushrooms. This toxin attacks vital organs within hours. Poison? I have no choice but to tell you this, but your system has already absorbed enough toxin to prove fatal. I wish there was something that we can do. No idea why Eugene tried to reach you. I'm sorry you made a trip out here for nothing. How do you know I made a trip? I just phoned my office. My office could be here in town. Miss Foster. Yes, sir? Didn't you say something yesterday about Mr. Phillips getting a hold of Mr. Bigelow in San Diego? What I said was that Mr. Phillips tried to call Mr. Bigelow's office in Los Angeles, but was told that Mr. Bigelow was spending a week in San Diego. All right. Thank you, Miss Foster. That's all. Yes, sir. Surely you can understand that we're more than a little upset here today. Yesterday news was quite a blow. Was Mr. Phillips married? Did he have a family? I mean, anybody that can help me? Mr. Bigelow? No. I can't recall Eugene ever having mentioned your name. I hate to ask this of you, Mrs. Phillips, but do you know why your husband committed suicide? What? Thank you 
about getting a job as a diplomat, Mr. Bigelow? Majak, Russian Mafia, CIA, Iran, might have been Italian. Who knows, the only problem is the uranium was stolen, so he's looking at significant prison time. Man, I've committed suicide for less. No, yeah, no question. That's how the FBI sees it. I told you, I never laid eyes on him. Oh, that's right. Oh, yes, you did. So what's this all got to do with you, Bigelow? I don't know yet, but I'll be damned if I'm not going to find out. What you're talking about? I have never heard of him. Right. And you never heard of Eugene Phillips either? Who are you and what do you want? George Reynolds. I already told you, I don't know any George Reynolds. Now you get out of here and leave me alone! And don't try to tell me this is the case either. <laughs> Look at you. In way over your head. You don't frighten me. Look, I know Eugene came here yesterday. And the next thing you know, they're giving him flying lessons off the sixth floor. You're crazy. He committed suicide. Your boy Toy Reynolds murdered Phillips, then went to San Diego to whack me. I don't know what you're talking about. All right, turn around. I am not afraid to use this. Now drop that, please. Where's Reynolds? Don't know! I haven't seen him in months! Bullshit. Why? I don't know. You should be very proud of yourself for all this drama. Phillips made the deal because he wanted to do it. Just calm the hell down. Don't be heartbroken if I'm not there to see you off. About time you came up right here, Bigelow. <laughs> it's just business, Bigelow. Oh yeah, Frank, what a great idea. I mean, you just shoved the best paying account out the door. Pure genius. Do as I tell you, Paula. Frank, are you drunk? Paula. How much we got in the bank? Forget the bills. Do you know that diamond bracelet you've always wanted? Buy it. Frank, I'll kill him. Drop the gun now, sir. Dispatch, this is Unit 72. We got a 211 at the 4 shop corner of 8 and Oakhurst. Frank! Hola! You've got to trust me, Frank. I'm not in any trouble with the police, Paul, but you can't stay here. It's, it's, it's not safe. I'm staying here with you. Paula, it's better that you go back. The dark night of your sin is closing in on You will come back to me, won't you, Frank? Yes, Paula, I will come back to you. I promise. You're standing here. It's going thin. Blame yourself. Yeah, blame yourself. You sure? Is that an excuse you want? Just make it happen. What? Here. What are you gonna do? Give me a chance. Like the chance I got. It was all holiday. He made me steal the bill of sale. He planned the whole thing. What about this letter? Your husband knew all about you and your boyfriend. He found it yesterday. He accused Halliday. It got ugly. They fought. And Halliday pushed them over the balcony. Why did he want to kill me? Because you could have proven that there was a bill of sale. No reason to kill himself. And that it was a murder, not a suicide. At the office. You thought you had spoken to him enough that you could implicate him. Do you believe in God? Yes. Then prepare to meet him. <laughs> A lot of people
people died, Captain. Tell Paula I love her. Officer Kent. Bring Miss Hollis. I'm sorry. I didn't know she was so desperate. What happened? I'm sorry. Please forgive me, Frank. There's no room to forgive! <laughs> He's gone.